Hey guys, it's Rez OG or Robert here and first I want to talk about before I get into the title of the video I want to talk about an update on my channel. I'll be doing vlogs for now until I get a laptop But no laptop or computer I might get a desktop because they run faster But it's either or but same reason I got the same hoodie on is because It's the same day that I did the last vlog. It, the last vlog I did was like 7 in the morning now I don't know what time it is, but anyways my opinion of the Xbox One. I'm gonna do everything separately. I'm gonna start with the console. So the console, it looks beautiful. It, it looks like it'll be too big for everyone's gaming setup, and that seemed like it'd be a problem because you know it's too big. But it looks nice. It looks like the back of an iPhone 5. I don't know if you know what that looks like. It's like oh, I forgot the fabric or the material, but it looks like that. And uh, I like how I saw it shiny. Then the LED for the the power button is blue, which is kind of weird since like the company's color was green, and now they're changing the LED to blue. I think so. And I think a certain Xbox come with uh, because I watched the unboxing by Major Nelson on an Xbox dashboard. That's where you can find it probably on Xbox.com or any other website. But in the video, it looked like. I think he mentioned something about a 500 gigabyte uh, hard drive or something. Uh, it's, that's probably possible. There's something about the RAM I don't know about, but yeah, it looks it looks like it'd be a high performance type system. I haven't seen any gameplay of like Call of Duty or nothing, which is coming out in four days. The multi multiplayer reveal for Call of Duty uh, Ghost, and uh, you can watch it off the Xbox Live dashboard. But in the controller. Like this is a control this is how the controller look like now. If you look at an Xbox One controller, the controllers the visual it looks super different. Like this it got like oh I can't even explain it. These are skinnier, these are skinny. The triggers are smaller. The my triggers ain't that long if you can see. But yeah, it seemed like the controller is oh and the thumb's gonna be different, you know. The thumb's gonna be different and more comfortable for your hands. B but yeah, I think that's gonna be better. And the Xbox One headset, I like the headset. I uh, I don't got an advanced headset at the moment. My turtle beaches are broke, you know. So I gotta work with this. It's not that bad. The puck is super big though, and it's super thin. So I get scared when I pull it out. See it. Yeah, this is the puck. If you don't know what the puck is, it's the end of the mic. But yeah, the puck is really big and I like the Xbox One. I won't need any more of these. Any more of these batteries because I don't got a plug and play yet. I'm getting one soon, but I don't think I will need one if I'm getting the what's his face. But that's not coming out. Uh, I don't know when it's coming out. So I know it's going to be around September or November, but I know it's not coming out anytime soon. But yeah. That's my opinion of Xbox One. My next video is going to be my opinion of Grand Theft Auto 5. And the reason I've been really inactive is because of Grand Theft Auto 4. And that, like, I've been having so much fun on that game. Like, I got invited to a live streamer's uh, game one time. It was last night or this morning. I don't know what you want to call it. Because I stayed up all night. And it's pretty early in the morning. Like, it's not that early. It's 11. But, anyways, Meow One Dogfish, a Twitch live streamer. Uh, for a good Battle 4, he invited me to his game, and I played, and he had this guy, this guy spawned stuff, it was pretty cool, he spawned, like, mods, and he, he spawned this helicopter at the end of this ramp, so once you get to the top of the ramp, it just smacks you all over the place, but anyways, yeah, I had fun in that game, and yeah, I've been distracted with Grand Theft if you look at my bio, I think it mentions something about GTA racing, no, it doesn't anymore, it mentions something about some team grinding. But anyway, yeah, Team Grande, I was going to make a competitive team insp inspired by Aaron Grande. I was like, then I, after I started overthinking it, I'm like, what the fuck am I doing? Because it was like an obsession, so I stopped it. But anyways, I think SS1 is going to be pretty beautiful. I don't, I know much about it, it's just so I'm not explain it, because I'm not good grammar and words putting words together if you guys haven't noticed but anyways i will see you guys next video for granted daughter 4 ah.